Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Cyber Cafe. My name is Isa Al Shamri, and I just passed Security Plus exam and I got my certificate. In this video, I'll explain to you and I'll give you some tips and tricks that will help you to pass your Security Plus without any experience and hopefully from the first try. I'll answer a lot of questions that I've been reading online. I was in your position, I was watching videos the way that you're watching my video right now. I wanted to know how difficult it will be for me to transfer to the IT field. I'll talk to you about my journey and how I was able to pass uh, my exam and get my CompTIA Security Plus. If you really want your certificate so bad and that doesn't only apply for Security Plus, that applies for anything in life, it's just about how bad you want it you are the one who decide. Before I start taking my security plus, I thought that this is so difficult and it's impossible to get. Taking in consideration that English is my second language, so I learned English recently. It's not even my first language and that even make it more difficult for me. I was thinking that there is no way on earth I will be able to get my security plus certificate. And guess what? I already got my certificate. No, you don't really need any experience. What you need is to understand the material, to study smart, not hard, to know the tricks, how to deal with their exam when you start the exam. That's all you need to pass this certificate, trust me. Don't let anyone scare you. Sometimes people exaggerate when they get a certificate because they want you to feel that they are so good, they are so smart, they are so professional, and no one else in life can get the certificate that they got. So don't listen to those people. Just prepare the right way. Be positive, and I promise you, you will get it. So for people who's transferring to the IT field, Uh, as you all know, there is a lot of articles everywhere telling you you need this certificate, you need that certificate. But it actually depends on you and what you what you really want. So there are people who takes A plus, then go network plus, then after that security plus. So basically, they pay for A plus, they pay for network plus, then they pay for security plus. Is it good? Yeah. Depends, to be honest with you, do you really uh, want to pay all this money for certificates just to get Security Plus? Let me tell you something, Security Plus is the best entry level certificate in the IT field. So, if you take this certificate, you won't really need the A plus or Network Plus. And I'm saying this because I already got my certificate and it, and it landed me a job for everyone asking like, will Security Plus get you a job? Yeah, it will. But it's not gonna be only on Security Plus. You can't just take Security Plus and sit at home and waiting for all the offers to come to you. It's not gonna be like that. You have to, to keep working. You have to work hard on yourself. So, from my perspective and my opinion, a plus material, network plus material, it is great material, but I would love to learn it for myself. I'm not gonna pay money just to get this certificate. I can learn the material myself and go for security plus, which is more advanced and it's gonna help me more. So hopefully that answered your first question about uh, A plus and network plus. As I told you, my point of view, you don't really need to take A plus or network plus to get into security plus. And their website, they say it is recommended to get network plus and two years experience in the IT field. Don't worry about it, calm down. Uh, if you transfer into this field, it's gonna be a great start for you. I would say just go for security plus, focus on security plus. The money that you will put into A plus or network plus, just put it into security plus, into the material that you need to study and go from there. yes you will get a lot of offers it depends also about your your resume and work experience it doesn't matter if you have it experience or if you don't really have any it experience everyone has to start somewhere right so trust me there is a company or there is a position that they will believe on you and as soon as they open this door for you that's it you you're good to go try to enrich your resume with other stuff for example uh there is the google it certificate uh, it's in coursera i believe it's 20 dollars, and they even give scholarship that's also a good thing to add it into your resume and they have actually great materials i really recommend you to check that out uh, and i will leave the link uh, in the description for instance me myself i'm into cyber security field I love penetration testing. So what I have been doing, I've been going to websites like Try Hack Me and other websites and I do some capture the flags activity and I included that on, on my, my resume. I did my virtual box, I work with Kali Linux, I build my own network, I, I did my own firewall. 
I included all that. This is what they want to see. What you really need is just to show them your passion and, and your resume and Security Plus will definitely support whatever you put in your resume. So if you put Security Plus and you say, hey, I am passionate about what I'm doing and this is why I got my Security Plus because I want this field so bad and I am working so hard for this field. Trust me, you will get hired. Security Plus exam will cost you 370 However, if you are a student, there is also academic store that you can go to and it will cost you only 240 They also have an option to pay monthly instead of one-time payment and this is what I did myself. They don't require any proof, they don't require anything. When I signed up there, I just signed up with my school email and I just bought the voucher in there. I paid it monthly for like $25 every month and the interest was five dollars that's a great option i will definitely leave the link for you in the description and hopefully that will help some some of you guys there are two exams 501 exam and 601 exam first you should know that 501 exam, it should have been retired long time ago, but because of COVID and what's going on, they extended the exam until July 31st, while 601 exam, it's the new one, and it's gonna be there probably until November 31st, 2023. I would definitely say, if you watch this video, and 501 exam still there, go for that exam. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because there are a lot of materials out there for 501 exam. There's a lot of videos and a lot of people who, who took this exam, who shared their experience, and that will definitely help you a lot. The maximum will be 90 questions and the passing score is 750. And let me tell you something guys, what you really need is just to pass. You don't really need any other points, either you passed or you failed, so don't ever feel bad about it. Just do whatever it takes you to get this 750 and pass the exam. Your certificate, as well as a card in here. However, it took a month to get this folder. What I would say is that there are no way it will take you more than a month of a preparation to get your certificate. Even if you don't have any experience, trust me. What you really need to do is just to study smart, to know what really works best for you. If you are a person who learns from videos or if you are a person who learns from reading, preparing for Security Plus, it shouldn't take you much. Don't get scared. Don't let anyone scare you, even people who took the exam. As I told you before, there are many people, whenever they take any certificate, even if it's easy, they will tell you that, no, it's so difficult, be careful, it's so tricky, you can't even get it, there are no way, it, it took me forever. No, don't let anyone discourage you. Trust me, guys, just go for it. And if you are a person who gets scared from exams or you have an anxiety, so what? Take the first exam, try it just to see what are you getting into and you will know how to deal with it better for the next time i know that there's a lot of people pays a lot of money to get great materials to pass their exam honestly don't waste your money don't waste your time don't waste your energy just focus on one thing and i promise you you will pass first you need security plus get certified get ahead book by daryl gibson this book is great i had it as kindle because it's easier for me when i search for specific terms while studying so i totally recommend that and i'm gonna leave the link in the description your second source should definitely be professor messer i cannot tell you how much professor master videos will help you guys there is a great playlist about security plus what i used to do i would always play his videos when i'm driving to work and off work for me myself i love watching videos and this is how i mostly learn so professor master videos is really helpful guys and it will help you a lot he also have a group study so you can go to these videos when you feel kind of ready uh, watch this video whenever he ask a question post the video answer it yourself then play it and he will explain to you each answer and why it was right or why it was wrong so that's i totally recommend guys for resources i believe that this is the only two things that you need daryl gibson book professor master videos if you want to get more materials go for it i'm not going to tell you don't do that because actually that might help you as i told you before it depends on what is best work for you 
I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks that will definitely help you on your exam. So listen to what I'm saying carefully. After you study the material, you have to go and look into the practice questions. It's all over the internet and I'm gonna leave a couple links down below. You have to understand that CompTIA, they sometimes try to trick you. And most of the time when you see some acronym in there, you will get so scared, so confused. You will be like, I never seen this acronym before. I don't know what's going on. I'm failing the exam. No, don't panic. You have to understand that they made up some acronyms, some terms. So don't let that uh, discourage you from continuing the exam. As soon as you start the exam, first questions you will get will be the performance based questions. What you need to do is to skip all these questions. Don't even look at it, just ignore it. Totally. Go to the multiple choice questions, start answering as you go. Give yourself no more than one minute, two minute max to answer each question, okay? If you didn't know the answer, you just flag it and go to the next question. When you're done with all these questions, it is the time to go to the performance based question and start answering that question. When you do that, when you answer all the performance based questions, go back to the questions that you flagged before and start doing it. I promise you guys, if you do this carefully, you will have a plenty of time to do whatever. I had so much time left. I had over 20 minute or like 25 minute left and I already answered everything. Then I went through the questions again and again just making sure everything is good. And let me tell you something, as soon as you start your exam, what happened to me when I start reading the questions, I thought that I don't know anything, I don't know what is this question, I don't know what's going on. But this is not the case. Until I submitted the exam, I thought I was failing. And I was surprised that I got a pretty good score. So don't let the exam scare you. Trust me, you are not the first and you won't be the last. We all get scared, we all didn't know what to do and we thought we are failing until the last second when we submitted the exam. I'm telling you guys, I jumped when I saw my score. So believe in yourself and I promise you, I promise you, you will get it. Don't let anyone discourage you. I made this video just to make it easy for you because I am grateful for everyone who shared their experience and because of them, I was able to decide how to study and all that stuff. Hopefully, this video helped you a lot and encourage you to go for the exam and remember something guys if I was able to do that I promise you you will definitely do that in the description I'll include some great links that's gonna help you I'm gonna give you a file that has all the acronyms you need so memorize as much acronym as you can and you need to know the definitions take whatever you like from my video from other videos get whatever helps you so just go with whatever you feel comfortable with there is no right way and wrong way there is your way and this is how you're gonna pass the exam. At the end of this video, I hope this video helped you. If it helped only one person, I will be so happy because that's my goal. I really want you guys to pass your certificate. If you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you are into cybersecurity, if you are into penetration testing, I'll definitely do some videos about capture the flags, uh, penetration testing. I'll also create a video about certificates. I got some penetration testing certificates that I will share with you guys. If you just started in the IT field or in cybersecurity field, I'll create some videos that's really gonna help you to choose what certificates best for you because I don't really want you guys to waste your money. There's a lot of companies there, there is a lot of competition and you don't really need all that certificates what you need is to be knowledgeable in the field because this is what's gonna help you in the interview always remember certificates will get you into the interview but your knowledge is the only thing that's gonna help you in there if there is any specific videos that you guys want me to upload please uh, put that in the comments if you have any questions about security plus about any other certificates let me know in the comments please don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you liked it and if you didn't like it hopefully I'll make better videos next time you have a wonderful day guys